Chapter 11, Crimson and Azure. Hang on a sec. I don't see any chain on the place. Well, maybe they're like Cornelia, and they haven't been annexed by the Federation. Good point. Sorry, huh? Corn, what? It can't oh, be. Nice. Great memory hmm? there. Hey there, guys. It is you, right? Hey, super punchy girl. Hi. How are you doing, Tifa? It's so good to see you. Same here. Hey, I have to ask, what are two keepers and a mirage doing way down here in Babel. Oh yeah, I guess we never told you, did we? Oh good! I was starting to worry. What if I accidentally saved a couple of bad apples from the Bahamut army? It's weird. Why does everybody keep thinking that we're Bahamutian soldiers? I don't know. I guess they don't see many Mirage Keepers anymore, unless they're working for the bad guys. Yeah. And not just Keepers, Giants too. These days, they all seem to be fighting for Bahamut. I guess it makes sense in a way. They say the Federation conquered their homeland long ago. Dude. Still, the prophecy's a hot topic around Nibelheim. Everyone in town has heard of the Giants from the Hills. Uh. I'm not sure I like being a celebrity. <laughs> anyway, so you're looking for the Valley of Fire? Unfortunately, that's the only real clue that we've got. The Valley of Fire. Everyone knows that bit, but no one's sure which valley is the right one. What do you mean? If you're looking for fiery valleys, this region is full of them. But that's just it. Any one of those valleys could be the one the prophecy is talking about. Oh, right! I forgot there's a summoner in town doing research on the valley. She might know. Welcome to Nibelheim. It's thanks to Shinra that this town has come so far. You see, Shinra uses volcanic energy in order to generate power. We don't need the Federation. We can get along just fine by ourselves. Hey man, you wouldn't happen to be a giant. Oh wow, you and your sister both? We don't meet many folks like you. You want to practice with me? Hey, you. You want to practice with me? Let me introduce the giants from the hills. <laughs> yeah, that's us. Hello there. I am the Summoner Rydia. Hmm? Something here is not right. Something about you. Hey, you know, the way that Mirage follows you, you totally remind me of Yuna. I guess it's because you're both Summoners. Huh? 
You mean you know Lady Yuna? Yeah, we met her. Back on the Upper Continent. She was really a lot of help to us. We might not even be there here if Yuna hadn't pointed us in the right direction. Oh... Well then... I suppose you can't be all that bad. There now. You hear that? These two say they're friends of Lady Yuna. That means you can trust them. For the time being, at least. So let me get this straight. You're searching for the four keys recorded in the prophecy? Yeah. We came to Babel because we heard one of the keys was hidden here, in a valley of fire. Right. But, you know, the keys are part of the Crimson Prophecy. Crimson Prophecy? So wait, you mean there's more than one version? Yes. There used to be a single prophecy, the Azure Prophecy. It only spoke of four sigils and said nothing about keys. It was much more abstract. The Azure Prophecy is heresy! Uh, this is no business of yours! Lies! Only the Crimson Prophecy is gospel! <sighs> Are you a summoner or not? You should pray that fate guides you to the Crystal Tower. The Crimson Prophecy is clear. Flanked by mirages, the Chosen Ones shall acquire four keys. From the Crystal Tower they shall mount the heavens, where God will grant them the gift of eternity. So long as you know to look for the signs, the keys shall be found. So do as the Crimson Prophecy commands of you. Hmm? All you hear these days is that nonsense. Yeah, no kidding. At least they're not breaking any laws or getting violent, but it's still creepy. What do those fools know anyway? The Azure Prophecy was written by the first summoner. It's the Crimson Prophecy that came later. The whole thing is nothing but a sham. Still, that sham seems to be the prophecy folks believe in. Unfortunately so. That's why I came here to sort the truth out myself. Tell me then, why are you searching for the keys like the prophecy says? You see... So you're telling me that your mother shares the same name as Lady Lucifarna? And you're looking for the Herald's castle to find her. I get it. If you really are the giants from the hills, all you have to do is follow the prophecy and you might wind up there anyway. Right. There's actually more to it. Someone told us we would find our family as long as we kept collecting mirages and pressing onward. Hmm. Well, whatever the case, it seems the only way to prove which prophecy is true is to accompany the two of you to the Valley of Fire. In a way, you'd be accompanying me and doing me a favor. What do you mean? Oh, never you mind. So, are we ready? Uh, are we ready? We don't even know which valley to go to. I've already figured it out. The valleys of Babel are numbered, and I believe the one we are looking for is Valley 7. All right, Placey Place, here we come. Now you're forgetting entire names? Are you here to buy a dress? I'm sorry, but we're all out of the silk ones. Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. You see, my grandson's birthday is coming up soon, and I was hoping to give him some dragon scales. Is there any chance you would be willing to bring me some? I'd be very grateful if you could. You would? Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you. My grandson's going to be thrilled when he opens his present. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a reward. So, Rydia... What's the difference between a summoner like you and a Mirage Keeper? You know, I should be asking you the same thing. In most cases, summoners can only maintain a bond with one or two Mirages at the most. To be called a Mirage Keeper, you have to be special. 
keepers can exercise power over a countless number of mirages. How is it you create a bond with so many of them? Huh? Well... I guess I've never really thought about it that much. Tama, can you answer that? Huh? Hmm, good the question. I never really thought about it as some kind of the bond before. Huh? Then Tama's not your familiar? Familiar? Yes. Mine is this dragon here. The first mirage a summoner connects with stays by the summoner's side to give her protection. They're sort of like guardians. Oh, I'm under no the obligation to protect lawn and rain. It's the optional. Gee, thanks. Hmm. I guess that keeping mirages and summoning mirages must be two pretty distinct things. As far as I can tell, there must be a big difference indeed. A while back, there used to be a town called Mist here, but then a big disaster left the town in ruin. Afterward, a company called Shinra came along and offered to help rebuild. A lot can change in a decade, you know? When you look around, it's hard to find so much as a trace of mist anymore. Valley 7 is east of the here. I'm burning up. Neither too. Just think about cold things. And then think about them melting. I guess we're doing this. Come on, bring it! step and we're finished
No trouble at all. That wasn't so bad.
predictable. Right? Okay, here we go. I won't hold back. Do you need me?
Predictable. Watch out! These things could explode any moment! Everyone! They use Lon as a shield! Right! Good idea! You ready, Lon? Yeah! Wait, you're gonna use me as a what? Mind if I drop in? Just sit tight. That'll do. Wasn't so bad. Go. The Federation decided to invade my home. The house I was in caught fire. I was all alone. And I... 
then why'd you come to a place like this? You needed someone to help you, didn't you? I wanted to conquer my fears. But... I couldn't do it. The mere sight of so much fire... It was... Well, I'd say you did pretty great. Yeah, I mean... That fire mirage? You doused it in one fell swoop. Right? You've got nothing to be scared of. Fire got you down? All you gotta do then is just blow it out, baby. Blow it out, baby? That's your sage advice? She's not struggling with the fear of birthday cakes. She's not? No, dude. Then... Oh. How about this? Maybe she needs a party to cheer her up. What about anything that you're doing right now could possibly cheer her up? Oh wait, are you trying to make fire look cool? It's the cooler than you! <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> huh? I am not. <laughs> yeah, you're way past weird. Completely beyond the redemption. Hey. <laughs> so, shall we? What? But Rydia? Go home. You've got nothing to prove. We'll let you know if we find any. Really? How will you get past that wall of fire? Oh, uh, look. I'll return to Nibelheim after I put the fire out for you. Sound reasonable? Yeah, reasonlicious. You're sure? Yes. Come on.
okay? Bridia? <laughs> Misty! My balance. Whew. All right then. I should return to town. I hate to leave. Nah, you've done plenty for us. See you the next Tama. Hey, wait. When's the next Tama, Tama? Oh, maybe it's the sometime tomorrow. <laughs> 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 okay, I think their brains are fried. Safe travels, Ridia. And thanks for everything. No, thank you. Well, so long. Okay, let's press on, Lon. Right, we've got a key to find. Best of the luck on your adventure. <laughs> You're coming too, Tama. Nice try. don't know about this place. I do. I know that it's really bad. We can't give up now! Technically, we can, but let's get this over with. <laughs> 